Hi guys, Ryu here with Narabit for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about integration of recall into the new box cutter menu called D Helper. So now by default um, in box cutter, if you start using it, uh, you're gonna see the traditional high menu with few box cutter options here, right? The most essential ones. But now if you're gonna go here and enable the D Helper under input, you will see that the menu will change. You're gonna have much more options in here. What we're gonna be talking about today is this collection option here. And if I expand it, you can see there's a cutter recall uh, options here. We're gonna talk about that. So first of all, the cutter collection you can change color if you want to. And this collection is created by box cutter by default when you create a cutter. So if you watch here, if I'm gonna draw a cut, you see that automatically box cutter creates a collection of cutters and moves all the cutters to that collection. So then when you uh, want to scroll through the cutters, you're gonna be scrolling through these. Now the um, this collection, the recall collection, you need to actually create first and then assign it to uh, this um, box here. So we do it by simply creating new cutters, okay? So we're gonna create a plane and move it in here, go press D, go to end gone. And I'm going to just simply slice it very quickly, you know, doesn't matter really what it is. Just grab some box and, you know, make some shapes in here. Then I'm going to grab the shape, press M, new collection and cutter plus, okay? So it's going to have a new collection here, cutter plus. And now I'm going to go to D menu and I can actually assign that collection to the recall collection. So now the cutters collection is going to be here, okay? And the recall is cutters plus. So now the way it works is that when you select the shape and press D and let's say we're going to be in this box mode still, uh, we're going to start drawing a shape here, cut it, press tab and then D. You can actually scroll through the cutters using these arrows, but you can see nothing is happening. And I think it's a bug because it doesn't work with one cutter, you need to have at least two. So you have at least two objects assigned to this collection for this to work, okay? So let's grab another plane and move it somewhere here and, you know, just slice it, whatever, doesn't matter. And move it to this cutter collection plus, right? And then when I'm going to draw a box, right, and press tab and go to D start scrolling now it's working okay so it's gonna work with more than one shape in that collection at the moment so now you can either do it through the d helper menu so press tab d and then just scroll or you can just um hold alt and scroll through shapes like this so you hold alt when you're drawing and scroll through shapes this is kind of a really cool way of uh, sort of creating custom cutters on the fly. And instead of using a custom cutter, you can simply change the shape of a cutter into something a bit more custom. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. Links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description. Also, check out our Patreon. We have some fantastic content this month. There's a really cool sci-fi like a steam gun. And next month, there's a really cool sci-fi medical device and a really nice decal pack as usual. And next month we have a, an amazing truck uh, tutorial coming with the full-on modeling tutorial and concept and Photoshop editing and whatnot. It's going to be really awesome. So thanks for watching. See you soon.